Welcome to Kingfisher High School Football 2004. Tonight's game features the Piedmont Wildcats versus the Kingfisher Yellow Jackets. This game was played September the 3rd, 2004 at Kingfisher High School Stadium. Thank you for watching Kingfisher High School Football 2004. They're in the shotgun. They'll play a lot of that this year. Deployed two to the right and one two to the left. Single setback is Lynn. Quarterback is Yek. He takes the handoff. Decides to run oh, with it. He's got oh. some open field. He's at the 35, 30. He'll get a first down inside the 30, down to the 29. I think his knee went down at the 30, but that's still enough for the first. Lofton in motion. Just kind of a blocker. Now Yek throws Wide it to open. Lofton. Lofton, he does pick it up. <laughs> Boy, he had to jump real high. Down, he took it at the 30, excuse me, at the 26. Uh, he did not get out of bounds. Actually, they're going to mark it at the 28-yard line. Look to the left, one to the right. Back in motion is one of the receivers. End around is faked and puck it. Oh, the ball comes loose. And let's check to see. There's a couple of jackets out there. The quarterback may have got to it before, and I think he did. Man alive, who popped him out there? That looked like Ryan Yank come up. All right. Obviously, pass formation. Passing, throwing, it's, oh, in. Intercepted. Oh, it's intercepted, intercepted. Yes. at the 39 by Yick. Nice little uh, flare out there, and the quarterback threw to the wrong person, wouldn't you say? Yes, he did. Yick went, went vertical and got that thing. Ocean is one of the players, and that is uh, Yick with the ball keeper. Oh, oh he's got some running. He's at the uh, 35 to the 30. He's driven out of bounds inside the 30, about the 27-yard line. And Yick uh, has land to his left, looking over the offense, defense. Straight hands it to Lynn, hand Lynn across the middle, and he uh, will get the good yardage. He's still on his feet. How about that? Almost to the first down marker. And that gets the crowd finally active. Boy, they've been kind of quiet here in this first quarter with under a minute left. Full house backfield. Yuck has uh, runner backs on both sides. They stay in the block. He uh, keeps the ball, gets to the 40, to the 45, to the 50. He's still on his feet, and he'll get the first down as we go into the second quarter. Wow, that's a good good timeout, wouldn't you say there, yeah, Steve? Nice, yeah, nice block. So that's the line. end of the first quarter. We'll get you the yardage there, but uh, it's Kingfisher Piedmont 0-0. We'll be back in the second quarter in just a moment. Shotgun formation. They'll probably stay there through most of the season. Fake to land, oh, and this time hand off to number 22 for the Jackets. Good running by D'Angelo Tatum, and he, he gets it looks like another first down, Steve. Yeah. Wow, that kind of fake to land, and uh, Tatum, nice run. A little bit. Takes a handoff, fakes to land, still with the ball. Got some blockers out there. Gets down almost to another first down, very close to it. See where they mark the ball down. He's down inside the uh, 25 to almost the 20. That's right. Puckett in the, to his left. He takes a fake from the quarterback, and the quarterback, oh, boy, Lofton. Lofton never lost his feet and still put the last hit on it, Man. didn't he? Lofton kind of put the finishing crown on it. Yeah. <laughs> First and 10 for the Jackets. This is their th uh, fourth possession. No points yet on the ball, uh, scoreboard. This time the quarterback fakes, rolls around to his left, sets his foot, oh, goes down open. deep. It's wide open. Oh, Pierke, he's at the 15. He's at the 10 inside the 10. Down in five would be first and goal with the Jackets at about the six. Seven's going to boot it away. 78, excuse me. We'll get his name here in just a minute. Taking the ball at about the uh, 14 is Miller. Still on his feet. Good run there by uh, Tyler Miller. Yeah, I'm thinking the ball, Steve, was mighty 6 1. Get, uh, Garber. Quarterback this time nails it, and it's a good pass reception at the 39-yard line to number 21, Kale Myers. And let's see where they mark his forward progress. Up to the Kingfisher 31. Again, the Jackets in shotgun, and they'll do that a lot this year. Long signal count. In the pocket, throws. It's complete out around the 36-yard line to uh, uh, Myers. Myers pulls it in, turns up field. Third and four. Wow. <laughs> Quarterback, he is real close. That is, uh, yes, they're going to get uh, it to him with the spot. Yeah, right at the spot. He needed to go to the 42, and yes, he did yeah, get yeah, it. He wow. Get that. We can keep these minus yards down. We'll be keep it over 100. This time, uh, fake once. He throws uh -huh. deep. He's got to run underneath it, and it's intercepted, I believe, by one of the Wildcats. Yes, it is. Uh, he pointed our way. Nope, it did it. Got away. <laughs> Holy cow. Boy, and how do we get away with that one? <laughs> Because the Piedmont player came down with it. Number 21, oh, Kale Myers. Gosh, you don't, don't, 
He wrestled it away, I guess. I guess he did. Still, still first down, it's first and 12. He figured all that out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going with you here. Oh, oh good gosh, good wrecking. stick by one of the jackets there. That's number 60, is that nine or eight? 69. And on bottom, Steven That's, Wilson, yeah. 76. Bryce Yeck again, yep, number 69. Bryce, he's making a couple plays. That's another sophomore. We think do. It'd be nice if they snapped the ball over the head. That'd be an automatic safety, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Snap is high, but he pulls it down. It's end over end. It's going to be handled by Lynn. He Pick fumbles it, it, picks it up at the 46 of Piedmont, turns the steam on here on the near side to the 40, to the 30, takes a block, still on his feet down to the 25, 24-yard line. Wonderful re uh, punt return by Casey Lynn. Gets the Jackets in wonderful field position. Here for a turnover. <laughs> yep. Quarterback up behind the center. One of the young men in motion. Oh, that's a new quarterback. He's in the pocket in the end zone. Oh, he right is there. going for it. Safety. Curtis Lofton, credit him. The quarterback was number 21, Neil Cutter, but he never had a chance as Lofton shot in from his lineback position through the quarterback for a safety. Okay, here we go. This time quarterback straight back in the pocket. Has some time. Throws it deep. Could be and finished. it's intercepted yeah. at the 32. Miller. Miller at the 40. At the 45. Oh, 50. big block. Big block gets into Piedmont territory at the 41-yard line by Tyler Miller with no time left here in the third. What a heck of a way to end the third period. Keep the Jackets fired up as we go into the fourth quarter. Kingfisher 2, Piedmont nothing. We'll be right back. It's around to begin this fourth period. A heck of a electrifying pass reception. We really didn't get the total yardage of the, the return, but the ball is at the 40-and-a-half-yard line, 41. Yuck has some time, throws it deep, and it is intended for yes. Pierke. He's got it at the 12. He's rumbling. He's, he's going to the goal line. In there. He's at, inside the 5 to the 3. I thought for a minute he wasn't going to move and cut in and take the ball because it looked like it could have been an interception. But, boy, he zeroed right in there and took the pass, and it's first and goal. It, first and goal at the 2. Lofton in the backfield along with Lynn. Oh, Ball is man, high snap. On. Lynn takes it. He's going to be thrown. No, he gets away. But uh, let's go. Oh, he got away from a tackler, and he may got back to the original. May even got one at the one. Now, how'd you like to see that replay? You Yick. Lynn to the right. This time quarterback to Lofton. Lofton's trying to use his high, and he's in there. Not of course, the first, first touchdown of the year by the Jackets is Curtis Lofton using all how many pounds of him. About uh, 246-2 frame, and punches it in for the TD. Our Tyler, Tyler Miller, Miller, yeah, holding. Let's see if the snap is in order. Long signal count. Here's the snap. Ball's down. The kick is up, and it is hey. good. So it's nine to nothing in favor of Kingfisher. We'll be right back. There's a timeout on the field. One yard dive, and the extra point by Yek was good. Mavis back, throws across the middle. It's oh. early, and the ball is knocked out of the hands by Loftus. Uh, Lofton, holy cow. I believe he rang the young man's bell. That was oh, a clean hit, man. though. I'm telling you, it was a clean hit, and the young man jumps up okay. He does kind of, he's in the wrong backfield. He's over in our side of the field. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think he knows where he's at. And Brings up fourth then. Their quarterback's at. Cutter in the shotgun, has some time, throws it, and it's over the head. Intercepted right about the 24, 23 yard line. Is that the Yak? I believe Yak. Intercep intercepted. Yeah, yes, it, it is. Yeah, second interception of the ball game. That's just like a punt almost for them. Yeah, I don't think that's 21. Myers passes to D'Angelo. And uh, Myers oh, was smart. He did not. He did not hit the guy in the back. He could have easily walked hey, he, the guy into the back, but instead he just let him go around him. And D'Angelo was able to get us a first down there on that did. pass reception. Backfield full. Yek to D'Angelo, who has a crease over the left side. Boy, seven, eight, almost nine yards on that run over the left side. Big hole. Got a couple of first downs in there that were helpful. Let's see what they can do. Turner still in there, quarterback, quick pass. Oh, it's intercepted. Oh, almost. I thought Yek had it. He timed it, didn't he? Yes, Cutter, he did. I'm sorry. Cutter's a quarterback, and and uh, Ryan just timed it, but it, it just went through his hands. Yep. <laughs> this time fake to the quarter or to uh, pocket. Uh, Mavis with the ball, still with the ball, running, and he is hit hard by number 10, Seth Wanger. And with 15 seconds left, I think they're going to try to get one more play. It's no on the season. Piedmont 0-1, and they have a uh, heck of a schedule on their hands, Steve, <laughs> as next week they will uh, host McLeod, and then they will host 
Class 2A defending champion Bethany before they begin their uh, district play at Ar Anadarko the 24th. The Jackets, as I said, will be on the road for three weeks uh, as they will be at Watauga next week, at Woodward the following week, and at Kellyville, which is near Tulsa, on uh, September 24th. Next home game here is October 1st, hosting Perry. And then at that point, it's every other ball game uh, away until the last two, and then we have those at home. So we'll be away from the confines of uh, Kingfisher football field for a while, but uh, that was certainly a good test tonight, and the Jackets' uh, offense came out and was able to put some points on the board, and the defense kind of spurred them on, I think. Yes, got us and, going. Uh, you bet. So uh, we look forward to the season. We're glad you are joining us. Join us every Wednesday night. Uh, tape delayed ball games at 8 o'clock over the cable channel 6 and also over Pioneer DTV channel 150. For Francis Nault, Steve Swoboda, this is Harold Drake. Thanks so very much for watching and good night everybody.